Good day and welcome to the Campaign Series YouTube channel. Today I am going to take the opportunity to do a training video. This video will be uh, looking at assaulting and you know the different assault bonuses and how you can do so and, and get into the right position in order to assault. So I came into this situation with a week in May Kong, and I thought, you know what, this is a good little spot where I can show you how to assault, when to assault, and you know the forces involved that you will require in order to assault. So, right in front of me here in this hex, we'll see that there's a VC platoon. Um, right now, it, it is full strength, and I did move into this hex where the platoon did fire, and I was retreated back here. Um, I did move this platoon down into this particular hex here. The platoon fired and no casualties were caused on both sides. I just had a retreat. Um, but this is going to be the target hex that we're going to be focusing on. So disregard the rest of the turn and I'll cut that out. And I'm just going to focus strictly on this so we can see how to position for an assault. So the first thing I'm going to do this thing has, this platoon has expended two shots. I suspect it only has two shots. So I'm going to take the opportunity to move around the back. I'll use the, the road, see if I can get in right there. Perfect. Now I'm going to spend a couple of turns moving in order to get to the various positions that I want to be in with my infantry platoons. Uh, there's a couple of platoons in here. I'm just going to add them. The reason I'm adding so many platoons here is that I want to show you uh, the various assaulting techniques. So I will probably assault. I'll have platoons in most of the positions around this. It'll just take me a couple of turns to, to do so. All right. Uh, I'm going to end the turn and I'll come back when it's my turn. I'll be right back in a second. And there we go, just like that we are back. And this is the new turn. So I'm going to continue man maneuvering my units. During the turn, this platoon, uh, the platoon did shoot at this, but it didn't cause any casualties or disruptions or anything. Uh, I'm going to move this one first because it has the greatest defensive benefit of the hexes that are around. So I'll just move that into there. Probably, oh, yeah, soak up some fire. Hopefully not take any casualties. No, so that's good. And the rest of the units, I'm just going to completely surround this hex. And then, next turn, I will start assaulting. Um, just for FYI, this is overkill for attacking one platoon. You typically would only require a company-sized unit, which is three platoons, typically in uh, Campaign Series Vietnam. Here I have two companies just to help illustrate how the assaulting works. That's the only reason why I have so many. Again, you don't need all of these units, but just for me to show you how this is going to work, let me do that. All right, now that we have everyone in position, I'm going to again end the turn. And we're back. So you'll notice that I set up the platoons. You don't have to do this. It's just for the visual of what we're doing. Uh, this is what it looks like in 3D. This is what it looks like in 2D. You'll see that there's an American platoon surrounding the Viet Cong platoon in the center. Uh, I'm going to be giving this demonstration in 3D, but hopefully with the graphics that I'm going to be adding, it'll be fairly clear about what's going on and what I'm saying. So assaulting there are four types of assaults in the campaign series vietnam game they are a standard assault an improved assault a flanking assault and a surround assault the standard assault is basically a hundred percent assault and how that works is that if for example i selected this unit and i shot first and then i assaulted i have expended action points therefore not as prepared as I would be if I had not, and I'm only just going to be assaulting this at 100%. Whatever the assault value is, that's what I'll be attacking at. 
Now, if I did not fire, for example, if I just assaulted with 100 action points, then I would be an improved assault. So I'm going to get a bonus for not expending any action points to move or shoot or anything like that, and just assaulting. So this means that the platoon is taking the time to organize its assault, getting prepared for the assault, and will is 100% focused just on that assault. So we'll say that it gives a, a 10%. It is a much more complicated number than that, but as a, an example, we're going to say it gives it a 10% bonus for the assault, if it assaults with 100 action points. The next is a flanking assault. So for a flanking assault to succeed, you need to assault from the opposite sides of the hex. For example, I would need to assault with this unit and this unit. So both of these need to be in this assault in order for this to be a flanking assault. And a flanking assault will give you an additional bonus. So for example, we'll just call it 10%, although it's probably more, but as, a, as an example, it'll give you another 10% bonus. If you have these with full action points, these with full action points, and both of them are assaulting from opposite sides of the, the primary platoon. It doesn't matter if all these other hexes are, are occupied, it only counts on the units that are included in your assault. So if I have this and this, and they're both assaulting the center, they will get a flanking bonus, which we're going to say is 10%. Now, if they also had 100 action points for both of them, they would get the additional bonus. So 110% plus 10%. So you're at 120% for this type of flanking assault. If I was going to try and do a surround assault you would use for example I'm gonna actually set this up for a surround assault I'm going to add this unit to the assault and then you need to go here add that to the assault and then finally here so you'll notice the key thing for this surround assault to work is that all three of these units have a, a space between them, which means that the, the VC cannot have two joining hexes together. Uh, if they do, that, that doesn't classify as a, a surround assault anymore. Uh, but in this case, there's only one hex that is in between our assaulting units. Therefore, we have a surround assault. And that will give you we'll say a 20% bonus over a flanking assault. So now if we to do if we were to do this assault, this particular unit, since it didn't fire, since this one didn't fire, and since this one didn't fire, all combined, you're looking at a roughly 130% bonus for attacking or assaulting this particular hex. Um, let's try it and see what happens. So you'll notice that I did cause some casualties during that assault, but they did expend most of their, their action points. So these ones here are no longer able to assault. This one here, because it assaulted down a road, it still has an opportunity. And I'm going to do the exact same thing with this the remaining units. So again, basically my assault looks like a Y shape type thing because I'm assaulting from every second hex. I am getting the biggest assault bonus that I possibly can because no one has fired and they're all assaulting from a surround type assault. So let's conclude that. And again, I caused casualties, which, and they didn't have anywhere to go, so they got stuck there and took extra casualties. If, now this one, because it is fired, and if I go into assault this, it's just going to assault at a standard assault. So it's just at 100% because it's not disrupted or anything like that. It doesn't have low ammo. It's just going to attack at 100%. So let's try. So it, now that that unit is suffering probably morale losses, blah, 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 
and is taking a lot of casualties. We can probably do the same thing with this one, even though it's a half strength unit. Again, it has fired, so we will only be able to have a, hundred, a standard assault, which is 100%, and see how effective that's going to be. So, even though that unit was in a bunker, because I had overwhelming force, it was very easy for me to eventually overrun it. As you can tell, if this unit was in a treed position, for example, uh, without the roads, it, I wouldn't be able to do multiple assaults like I did in this case. But generally, that's that's how it works. So to summarize, four different types of assault. There's standard, there's improved, there's flanking, and there's a surround assault. I've given you examples on how all of those work. If you have any questions, leave them down below. I'm happy to answer them. And... Thank you so much for watching. I really appreciate it. If you like this type of content, let me know because there's a whole series that I can do just for tactical lessons and whatnot for the campaign series Vietnam game. Let me know if you like this. If you do, what kind of things do you want to see? I'm happy to help. Thank you again for tuning in. It is greatly appreciated. Take care. Good luck. Smile always.